Hey everyone, Seth here. Big news today in the world of human evolution. Scientists in China today announced that there is a two and one million year old skull that really shakes up our family tree and what we think about Neanderthals, Homo longi, and Denisovans. The skull found in Hubei province back in the 1990s was so crushed and distorted that no one could say exactly what kind of human it was. For years, it was thought to be just another example of Homo erectus, one of our more earlier ancestors, the first of us to have a large brain. But researchers recently used advanced scanning and 3D modeling to digitally rebuild that skull. What did they find? Well, they found features that don't really match a classic Homo erectus. Instead, what they found was that the skull had traits that look more like the Nisovans from the remnants that we have. And of course, the now announced Homo longi skull that turns out to be what we think is a Denisovan. And these features more closely match that. However, since most of the fossils of Denisovans are not really labeled yet, we don't know if they are Denisovans, and most of the evidence for those species come from DNA, there's still a lot that's up in the air. However, it means that the Nice events and the split between them and Neanderthals and us may go much farther back than we thought, maybe over a million years. And this shows that Asia wasn't just a side stage in human evolution, but rather a area where populations may have been central to the story, mixing overlapping with others across the world. In other words, the human story is less like a straight line and more like a braided stream, which of course we've talked about before, with many channels feeding into what we are today. We don't yet have DNA or proteins from the skull, and of course that's something that the teams are working on, and this is a fossil that shows us a powerful reminder that human evolution is messy, fascinating, and a far from be finished being written. So next time you look in the mirror, remember you carry echoes of all those ancient experiments in your DNA. Now, to keep up with news about this skull and new studies that come out about it, because you better believe there's going to be plenty, stay up to date with the world of paleoanthropology. Like, follow, and subscribe for more. And remember, there's always more to learn.